G'day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today I'm here with Ian. And so uh, we have 10 people that we're going to minister to today. Uh, so um, if you would like to receive ministry, I want to ask you, just write your name in the comments and I'll put you on the list. And then in the future, when I minister to every day to 10 people. And so when I then get to your name, however far you down the list is, then I'll just minister to you. Okay. And then, of course, we minister every Monday night and Friday night also live. So, um, the first person I want to minister to is Amanda van Ika. So, Amanda, the Lord shows me a lot of railways. And the, the railways is, the, is the, the will of God, the path that God leads us in. And I see lots of railways in your family come all together onto one rail. And I felt that the Lord is bringing unity in your family, is giving unity of vision. And uh, I actually saw how one of the, the trains on the on the rails are very strong it's like a locomotive and then the other ones hook into that locomotive like like trucks and then the whole train goes together and so the lord says i'm bringing revival into your family and that's i start with one and then i start with another one and then another one and then i'm going to bring all of them together god bless you amanda uh the next one is for jan jan the lord loves you and he cares a lot about you uh the picture that i saw for you was um in you, you've been thrown into the deep end now one of the the ways a lot of people were taught was you get thrown into the deep end and that is actually where you learn a lot now it's not I can say diplomatic it's not the nice way but it's a very practical way and a lot of people learn from that and I see that's how you learn so it feels like you're in the deep end but now don't focus on to complain don't focus on the problems start to focus on what is the solution focus on how you're going to get through this because when you start to do that and you focus on the Lord and you ask the Lord for instruction, your faith is going to be strong. You're going to mature. You're going to build your character. And I just see how you become strong. So even though it is not comfortable, even though it's not nice, just work through it. Just focus on the Lord. Um, the same as uh, with Peter when he was sinking, the Lord was right next to him. He won't let you drown. But he's there to help you and allow you to grow. Be blessed. Okay. Jan, uh, God bless you. Um, I just want to remind you uh, that breakthrough is coming for you. And don't be negative or allow negativity to be in your thoughts or on your mouth. Uh, God bless you, Jan. So the next one is for Anne. Uh, and the Lord shows me how you get an opportunity as a new environment. And it looked to me like a jungle because you didn't understand. So it's like very closed up. And then the Lord gives you... Uh, wisdom and that wisdom looks like a machete and then you walk and you cut yourself a path through the jungle that you can walk through and you clean up a path that uh, you get that thorns and that bushes and that stumps out of the way so that you can have a path to walk and that path is how to do it how to navigate the new environment that got no, this opportunity that God has given to you and I see how you quickly learn and you receive wisdom and favor from God uh, to start to operate and so after two years then you say oh, okay I feel more comfortable and then the Lord can give you more uh, responsibilities and you cut more paths uh, and so I felt that the Lord says don't feel intimidated or confused right now the Lord is giving you wisdom and you will overcome even with this new opportunity God bless you okay the next word is for Karen Karen the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you the picture that I saw for you was of a long bow uh, that the Lord has given you so it is very traditional it is not like the new compound bows uh, that is nice and effective uh, but I see tradition and I see not a lot of technology but I see you practice you keep on keep on it's it's difficult in the beginning your accuracy is not there but the more you practice the closer you get to the target up until you are so focused you can look at the target close your eyes and then you know and you shoot in in the center so the lord says you will hit your target you will hit your mark you will not fail you'll get through this uh, but i just see the the the, the uh, uh, to be persistent you need to be persistent don't be discouraged focus on the lord and know that the lord is with you i just see the lord says definitely the targets that you've set you will reach them but in a traditional manner be blessed hey karen god bless you uh, so the next one is for alpha uh, so Alpha, I really felt that the Lord is bringing your family together and it almost looked like a ceremony where you guys bless the new generation and you take communion together and everyone 
uh, lay their lives down before the Lord. And I, and I saw uh, three times you have like a, a celebration together with your family like that. Where you guys, each one pray for each other. You have communion together and you guys just dedicate your lives to God. And I see a big shift, like a shift that turned because the family dedicate their lives to God and worship the Lord. And so I felt that the, the Lord is ashamed to me. Like in the Bible it talks there about Abraham that he built an altar. Uh, and he worshiped God there and in course of that altar the Lord blessed him and I just see in the same way how uh, you and your family do that and there's a shift there's a change that come because of that 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 dedication I also felt that the Lord wants to bring a generational blessing and so that's why it's important for the parents to bless the children so that that, that blessing can flow uh, from generation to generation God bless you Alpha Okay, the next word is for Mary. Mary, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of you cleaning the table. It's a white cloth and you bring food that you cooked for your family uh, to test new recipes. And you've got three people, three different answers and you don't understand why. But the Lord says every one of your family is different. So they won't have the same response. You think this thing is the best and none of them like it. And then you think, well, this thing needs this and that and then they say no this is fine you got different people that you're working with different personalities and the lord says it's not one size that fits all but experience will tell you and teach you what you need to do and i just see how the lord says trust other people's opinion but scrutinize them in the sense of prayer holy spirit what do i need to do with this opinion and then you allow them to influence your recipe so that you can get the perfect recipe be blessed Hey, Mary, God bless you. So Christopher, uh, the Lord is saying to me that He's going to help you with clarity and He doesn't want you to run without clarity. So I saw a screen and the, the screen was very dirty. And so the Lord helped you uh, with His wisdom and with His Holy Spirit and the light of God to clean that screen so it can clearly see the vision. And I felt that the Lord says it's important that you have to have written down a six months, a three month, uh, a one year, a two year and a five year vision and a plan. Uh, so the vision is this is where we're going and then the plan is this is how we're going to accomplish that plan and then once you have that clear then you can run because i see you sometimes see the vision and you immediately start running but you haven't written out the plan you haven't communicated it you didn't set, make it clear and set targets and all of that and i just felt that the lord is going to help you to bring structure to your vision so that you can run uh, and then you also make a lot less mistakes and also when you give uh, the others around you input into that vision because you write it down and you show it to them and you communicate it to them then they can also bring their part and their input again and so the Lord is just showing to me the team is going to win not the person and so I felt the victory is yours together with the team and also together when you have clarity of vision. Uh, God bless you Christopher. Now Christopher I just saw uh, like a mountain bike you've got different gear ratios that you work with if you're in the wrong gear, it doesn't mean the gears are wrong. It just means you selected the wrong gear. And I see how God is going to give you that wisdom to work with your team to get the right gears at the right time to get the right accomplishments. The next word is for Elizabeth. Elizabeth, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. Uh, the picture that I saw for you was your hands are tied. And it's because of tradition. And I see in your marriage, in your relationship that you have, it feels like something is tying your hands and it's tradition. You need to go to the Lord and I see how you just humble yourself before the Lord. And He says, make your ways known to me. Come with plans and say, Lord, this is, this is my frustration. This is my desires. And then the Lord's going to give you a strategy to overcome and to work through this. And then I see you, get, you have like a, a whole plan, a blueprint set out. And you're going to follow that by the grace of God. And that is going to actually not just help you to get free, but it's also going to advance you so that there's a multiplication factor in your life. Be blessed. Hey, Elizabeth, God bless you. Uh, Elizabeth, I just want to say thank you for all the hundreds of comments and just your participation and what I'm doing at Unity with Heaven. Uh, God bless you for it. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, so the next person is Gloria. Uh, so Gloria, uh, the Lord shows me that He has a mandate on your life to bring the, to usher in the presence of God in your house and among the family. Uh, and I saw that there's a leadership uh, gifting that you have already for a long, long time. And the Lord said to me, He wants you to lead in the in a new way. And so you know the, the traditional way how we lead is we control the situation. But Jesus said, you know, uh, if you want to be the greatest in the kingdom, 
you have, you have to serve one another. And I see how you start to serve your, your children and how to, you serve your husband and you serve each one. And as you do that, then that presence of God flow out of you, the life of God, you got more joy. And then you can bring you can bring God's direction into the situation, but through serving someone. So I just I just see there's a little bit of a change that happens and the Lord is also helping you to be, to, to be softer and to be more open for His glory to flow through you. God bless you, uh, Gloria. Uh, the next one is Francisco. Francisco, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of you like a hen protecting the chickens uh, or even like a, a warrior protecting with a shield um, his children. And I even see grandchildren uh, where the Lord says, make a list of the names and get specific prayers for all of them. You've got a, a position where you can pray and your, your prayers bring definite protection where you shield them from unnecessary things. Uh, I just see you're in a very favorable position where you've got the authority to pray and to speak into uh, your children's lives where you just say, I pray for this to prosper. I pray against this negative influence. And I just see how you're very close to the Lord where the Lord says, when you pr pray that those prayers, I'm very attentive to listen to them and to, to, to bring that praise forth. Be blessed. Hey, Francisco, uh, God bless you. Family, it was wonderful for me and Ian to minister to all of you. Uh, we love and appreciate you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Be blessed. Please subscribe to our channel and sign up for our newsletter. If you would like to receive personal prophetic ministry, you can join our live stream on Mondays and Fridays. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.